Yo, it is spawn time. We need to talk about spawning baits. Now, I'm going to give you my best three spawning baits, um, looking and not looking at them. So whenever you're able to, to see those bass out there, and then you say, ooh, I need to throw something on them. Uh, those fish that you can visually see, got my top three there. And then when you're not, when the fish are spawning, but you're not looking at them, like you got dirty water, low light conditions, something like that, I'm gonna give you the top three for not looking at them, spawning baits. All right, so now I'm gonna start with not looking at them. We're gonna just, let's just say early in the morning, you're not looking at them, but you know the fish are spawning or you're fishing in an area uh, where the water's a little dirty or, or deep or something like that and you can't see physically see the fish spawning uh, i got my top three and these are all going to be soft plastics heavy this is just man the spawn is soft plastics season that is uh just there's no way around it i mean it's it's power it's power pole season right here power pole season because you're gonna be power if you're in your boat you're gonna be power poling down whenever you see those fish where you get in those spawning areas and you really need to pick them apart but it's also soft plastic season. Uh, I'm gonna start with the old wacky worm. Uh, this is a, a Missile Baits 48 rigged wacky style, just harpooned right in the middle, as you can see. Uh, I usually fish this on a spinning rod, something like a 10 pound, 12 pound leader. You're gonna be just skipping it around the bank anywhere that looks like a fish may be spawning. Now, where do they spawn? They spawn in the protected pockets, protected areas, behind docks, things like that. Uh, some of the last dock poles closest to the banks for, the, for docks. Uh, anywhere that, that water is protected, where they're not gonna have a lot of wave action, not gonna have a lot of wind action. Uh, you know, northern banks, southern banks, it doesn't matter. If they can find them prime habitat, that's where they're gonna be. And this is a real good way to, to fish around. I mean, I've caught them on every color you can imagine. With, uh, with this. If the water is relatively clear, I'm going to go with a green pumpkin or green pumpkin flash, a more natural color. If the water is, is uh, it's got a little bit of stain to it, I may throw like a milk money, something with a little white in it, so I can see it a little bit easier. Let, throw that th thing out there, twitch it, twitch it around, let it, let it sink down. Number two is quickly becoming one of my best friends of all of fishing, the Tokyo rig. That's the Tokyo rig right there. It's got the missile baits quiver 6.5 on there you can use a smaller quiver the 4.5 as well but usually what i do is i just take two two weights and it depends on how deep i'm fishing when i'm fishing shallow probably going to have two eighth ounce or two three sixteenths ounce sinkers these are two quarter ounce sinkers i was fishing a little deeper with this particular rig but uh, i use the three aught three aught hook on there the ewg version and uh, and then a variety of colors Green pumpkin obviously is always good. If the water's a little stained or a little mercury, murky colored, that super bug right there, it's black and blue, green pumpkin blue. That's a great color. June bug is also one of my favorites when the, in that color water. If the water's a little bit clearer or you got a little more sunny conditions, I'm gonna go with like a watermelon red candy. That's probably gonna be uh, hard to beat. Maybe green pumpkin flash. That's, uh, that's about it. But you can, you can mix up the, the different colors. That's number two. Number three is kind of a unique rig. This is a Missile Baits 48. You know, it's a, it's a weighted stick worm, but I've got, got a Texas rig with the 5 aught uh, Gamakatsu hook, and then I'm gonna put a little 1 32nd ounce nail weight in the butt. And you can see that's, uh, uh, that's kind of sticking out there, but you wanna get that nail weight that's, that goes all the way in there. That thing is gonna go all the way in there. And what this thing is gonna do, it's gonna reverse shimmy it's going gonna, it's gonna to reverse, it's going to sink going backwards, and it's going to shimmy when it goes backwards. This is particularly good during the spawn when you're pitching around in those areas. Uh, put 14-pound fluorocarbon on this bait caster usually. You can throw it on a, on a spinning rod by all means, but I'm going to pitch that around, and when it hits the water, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull, pull, out, pull out the slack, but then I'm going to turn around and let it sink on slack line so that it can float away and shimmy and do its thing. I'm gonna pitch it around any kind of cover. Looks like it might might be uh, fishy. Uh, that's that's shallow, isolated. You know, stick ups, anything like that. That's around the bank. I'm gonna be pitching this bad boy right around there. This is fishalicious. This is definitely a good color for that. Green pumpkin flash for some reason seems to be my kind of my go-to. Watermelon red also is a good one. 
uh, either one of those two colors on that reverse shimmy rig with the Missile Baits 48 can be, uh, can be tough to beat. So those are my three not looking at them. All right, now let's get to when we can actually see those fish. This is not going to be a tutorial on how to catch them. This is just going to be the top three baits on how to, how to use them. Uh, and what I do when, I, when I'm looking at spawning fish, I hit them with a, a one, two, three punch. I'm going to have a small, a medium, and a large bait. Those, those, that's kind of how I, how I go. Depending on the size of the fish, most of the time I'll start with the medium. And my medium bait of choice is a Missile Baits Baby D-Bomb. As you can see, it's not a very big bait. And I put a 3 aught Gamakatsu straight shank hook in it. That, that hook in there, in that bait, I mean, it's almost all hook. So when that, when that fish sucks that bait in, he's going to have most of the hook in there. I put it on a quarter or a 5 16 ounce sinker. You know, this is a bait caster rig, 20 pound um, Sunline fluorocarbon is usually what I use. And I'm going to be pitching that around uh, right into the bed, around in the bed, try to get that fish to, uh, to actually uh, get defensive and eat, eat the bait. Color's not, not a big deal here. A lot of times I'll use just natural colors and I'm, I'm watching the fish and learning the reaction. I don't think that a, a bright color is, is necessary. I think they'll, a lot of times they'll eat, the, they'll eat this color uh, quicker, a natural color. A brighter color can be good at times, but I'm gonna pitch that bait in there. And uh, if I think the fish may have, may have eaten it, rather than setting the hook really quick and getting yourself in trouble by foul hooking them, I'm gonna reel up my slack and then watch and feel. And if that fish has got it, a lot of times he'll pick it up and be moving it off the bed. You can see your line moving. You can, you can feel it in your rod. And, and when you do set the hook, good to go. Missile baits, baby D-bomb, probably number one choice. That's the medium size. Now, there could be fish that don't really show much interest in the medium size bait. Um, you know, they just almost ignore it, so to speak. And when that happens, when they ignore the bait, I'm going to go large with them. This is the Missile Baits Destroyer, green pumpkin flash, far and away my number one color there. It's actually the number one selling color in, in the Destroyer out of all the colors. But you can see it's got uh, twin appendage tails on it, a huge ribbed body. I put a big five aught Gamagatsu straight shank hook in that bad boy. I usually put that on 25 pound sun line shooter fluorocarbon. You know, you can just absolutely crack into them when they, when they bite it. Uh, and I'm gonna have as a weight on the front of there, I'm gonna have th a three eighths most of the time. I'll go up to a half, half ounce. Sometimes I've found that that heavier weight can actually trigger fish. I don't know if it's something about the speed of the fall or the bait, that, that weight, you know, hitting the bottom, da -da -da -da, scratching along the bottom. Sometimes that can, that can definitely trigger them, but that is uh, my bait of choice. I've caught so many big ones on this bait right here. I mean, just fours and fives and sixes, and up that like you like you wouldn't believe on on this bait especially when they ignore that medium size bait uh, I, I pitch this bad boy in there and man it's something about that bigger size with all that all that action and uh, and undulation they just they just go crazy so let's say i throw the medium they ignore it i throw the large in there and they spook and they spook they back off they don't like it then i go back to the small and for my small option, I'll go with the drop shot. Yes, a drop shot, 10 pound leader, put a Sunline Sniper, 10 pound leader. And usually I'll put this Gamakatsu number one EWG hook on there. And I'll Texas rig it like that. Cause a lot of times you're, you're gonna be, you know, around some cover, you know, near cover. Uh, you, most bass don't spawn just in open water on flats with no cover. So I'm gonna put that little, uh, that little hook in there and this is a goby bite color. It's a good little minnow color. It's a real good place to start when, uh, when I'm pitching around in there. And a lot of times what happens is, uh, you know, I'll end up going through a couple different colors. I might throw pinkalicious or go with a more of a bait fish like fishalicious. And then green pumpkin flash is definitely one of my other, uh, other options. But between, between the, basically kind of the, these four colors, usually you'll settle into something for that particular day. The day to day might be different. Uh, some bass might react a little better with the pink, some of them more with the green pumpkin flash. It just kind of depends on their mood. And, uh, and I'm gonna pitch that bait in there. 
I'm going to kind of maybe back off if I can. Uh, you know, you want to fish for those visual sight fish as far away as you, as you can. I'm going to throw that drop shot in there. I'm going to get the, get that bait right in there and I'm going to just leave it and kind of let it sit. I'm not going to do a lot of action to it. I'm just going to kind of leave it and let it sit. And that little teeny, that little teeny bomb shot just kind of sitting there uh, can, can really, really do the trick sometimes. A lot of times those fish that spook with that bigger bait, they'll spook out. You'll pitch your, pitch your little drop shot in there, reel it up in there, you know, and that little bomb shot just sitting there. And then all of a sudden you'll see the fish slowly start to work back into the bed, slowly start to work back into the bed. And once they get back to the bed, they see that little thing in there. They're not intimidated by it, and they'll just swim over to it, eat it. And a lot of times they'll just, they'll just eat it and sit there. Sometimes they'll eat it and then and then swim back off of the bed. But a lot of times they'll just they'll just eat it. And when they do that, I'll I'll end up just pulling back to to feel if they've got it, and it'll it'll feel just like it's hung on the bottom. So I'll I'll pull back and like oh god there he is, and then you'll see then you'll see the fish shake his head, and uh, and then you and then you end up getting them. So that is a really really good follow up bait right there, the little missile baits bomb shot. So that's kind of my top three. You know, just outside of my top three is Missile Baits Baby Destroyer. I, I, I keep that on the deck as well, that Baby Destroyer. I'll pitch it around, you know, as I'm visually sight fishing. I might just pitch it around along with the uh, along with the Tokyo Rig with that quiver on it. One of those two is probably going to be what I'm going to be pitching around. And occasionally I'll pitch this on a bedfish, but I really like the Baby D-Bomb better. It, it, I just have, I've caught so many fish on that Baby D-Bomb. I know they will eat it. I know they like it if they're in that territorial mood. They do not like that little thing. I, I guess it looks like a little uh, brim down there poking around in their bed and they, they are not having any parts of it. So those are my top three. If you have any other questions, any other questions or comments for, uh, for bed fishing, baits, mainly the baits. We'll do tutorial later probably on how to catch one off the bed if you've never done that before. But uh, be sure to comment down there below. Let me know uh, what your I want to hear what your uh, number one, number two, number three bed fishing baits are as well. I'm guessing they're going to be mostly soft plastics. Hope you enjoyed that and be sure to check out some of the other videos. Thanks for watching.